Hey, I'm Justin James, World Long Drive Champion. I'm gonna show you how a stick, a dowel, a broom handle can help you to hit your driver longer and straighter. Let's go. Hey, thanks for visiting the page today. If you're interested in hitting the driver longer and straighter, give us a like, please subscribe. That's what we're trying to do here, help you drop bombs off of the tee. So today, one of my go-to drills with a lot of people that I work with is getting the club out of their hands and getting some kind of unique object in their hands. Some about golfers, we have a club in our hands, there's some things that short circuit, okay? Now I'm gonna talk about a few of the things that short circuit in our brains today with the club and also how this can help us. So a lot of the people I work with are so herky-jerky, right? They are, I've talked about it in a lot of the other videos, it's like they're glued in, in concrete, uh, they're afraid to use their hands, they're stiff, they're in swing prison, their head is still, their weight's 50-50, and they think they wanna hit it like the Iron Byron or a golf robot. You're not a robot, you're an athlete, hopefully, or we're gonna get you there. So what can happen in this herky-jerky motion is that we get short, we get on our trail side, but we don't get off, we get over the top, we get steep. Everything just looks rigid. So what I'll do is I'll take the club, we'll get it out of here, I'll get a long dowel in their hand, okay? Now, hey, we're not thinking golf, we're just thinking fluid. Maybe you played baseball at one point in your life. Maybe you were some semblance of an athlete. Hopefully, we're gonna, we're gonna get some of that back, bring that back in the fold, okay? So this is gonna be longer than usual, okay? This is about 50 inches. And we're just gonna start to make some, uh, we'll say, swings in a rotational matter, uh, matter um, in a circle, not golf, right? But maybe I'll close their stance off a little bit and maybe I'll just get them sort of pivoting the dowel this way. Okay, now because this is so long and because it has more of an effective load than a golf club, it's gonna be harder for you to just jerk it over the top. You're gonna be naturally inclined to swing it more around. This lead shoulder is gonna work down a little bit. I'll push their hip back a lot of times, get that out of the way. And because it's longer too, it's gonna to exaggerate a little bit your forces, your loading pattern backwards, your loading pattern in your lead side forwards. And then the secret sauce, which I make them do, is continuous swings. I'm gonna have them make about 10 in a row pushing from the trail into the lead, the lead into the trail, okay? Now, most, if not all, are going to want to stop and then reset because they're not comfortable and they're not used to this fluid sequencing and using the ground. So if I get them more fluid here, what I can do is take that into a driver and a lot of these problems with being too steep, with not using the ground, getting stuck on their trail side, are gonna start to correct themselves just by nature of getting that driver out of their hand and having them make some swings with a dowel. The other thing, last thing I'll key them on, is energy out in front. And my friends from Mach 3 are fantastic with this idea of creating speed and energy out in front of the hitting zone, rather than so many of you watching try to create all force here, and then you're almost stopping and you're losing speed. Whereas if you tried to generate speed up in here, the ball is gonna take care of itself, right? So we'll make continuous swings, trying to really make this whip out in front, staying in posture, using the ground, it's gonna help you a lot. Get the club out of your hands, get a dowel that's about this high, let it rip, have fun, and let this go ahead and bleed over into your driver. You're gonna hit it higher, 
You're going to hit it longer. You're going to hit it straighter. You're going to have more fun playing the game. Go drop some bombs.